I was lucky enough to be invited to Tunisia to take part in the first Australian Women in the Arts and Business tour, which was an invitation by the government to explore Tunisia to look at its arts culture, arts scene and arts history. What was a real bonus when meeting with the um, the Tunisian people who ran the NGOs was the opportunity to share with them that they could apply for a grant for funding through the Australian Embassy um, for special projects for to, to help continue their, their work in the community sector and most of them weren't aware of it so it was a really fantastic thing to share and I'm fingers crossed that one of them successful. One of the reasons we had such fantastic support from the Tunisian government was that we had fantastic support from the Australian ambassador to Malta and Tunisia and she made a point of meeting with our group on a number of occasions and even hosted um, a, a special iftar dinner with dignitaries from the Tunisian government where we, we got to talk about our work and also about the work that was happening across Tunisia. So that level of involvement really made a difference to the tour. My fondest meetings in Tunisia was with the director of Arc en Ciel, which means rainbow, and it's a school especially for children with Down syndrome. And it was started by a mum, a mum of a child with Down syndrome, who just wanted something better for their child. It's now exploding at the seams. There's 24 children in this house. They're being taught three languages. They're learning how to be pastry chefs. They have the most incredible curriculum and this is because a mum wanted something better for a kid and you know that's exactly how Arts Project Australia started 45 years ago. Arts Project Australia is a centre of excellence that supports and promotes artists with intellectual disability and probably the most important thing is we advocate for their inclusion within the broader contemporary art sector. So we have a beautiful studio which I'm sitting in right now where up to 40 artists a day come and develop their art practice and downstairs we have a fantastic gallery. An artist can come to Arts Project Australia one day a week, forever, if they wish, and just create some art without any aspirations to, to sell their work or exhibit their work or be a professional artist. But if you have that drive and you have that talent and that interest, we can give you a number of offerings, painting, drawing, printmaking, ceramics, digital art, animation, soft sculpture. There's so much that you can dabble in and try. And our long-term artists, a number of them, earn a significant income through sale of their work. And they are indeed professional artists. The support that we offer artists in the studio is critical because a number of them have very different needs. Some need space, some need quiet, some need help mixing paint, and some or most are really independent. So it's a safe and supported environment to develop their art practice. Inclusion is not just making a place where people can come, it's actually including artists in the broader contemporary art context and that's what we strive to do every day. It's not just about what happens here, it's about more importantly what happens beyond these walls both in Australia and internationally.